we got the word in spring training, uh, I was able to actually go home to Charlotte. Um, I actually put a little gym in my house, was able to get some workouts in in the morning. I uh, was able to keep doing my hitting. We had a uh, facility we were able to go to just a couple guys at a time to hit in. So I uh, was able to kind of stay up on my baseball stuff, you know, watching these negotiations happen. And uh, luckily we got through and we're here today. So it's, uh, it's, been, uh, it's been crazy, you know, never seen anything like this. But uh, I'm glad we're here now. We're, we're, we're kind of nearing the finish line of getting this thing going. And uh, we're, we're all excited to be here. You know, I, I tell you what, I felt good in spring training. I was really hoping to kind of continue that, uh, especially offensively. But, uh, you know, you have to adjust. It was good to kind of get away. It was uh, interesting being in North Carolina for a summer uh, for two months. I hadn't done that in 11 years. So uh, that was something. So that was that was kind of refreshing. But, uh, you know, it's good to be back here. You know, this is what uh, you spent all offseason preparing for this season. And, uh, you know, we're here. We're ready to rock and roll. And I feel like uh, all the guys here are on the same page and ready to roll. It's, it's a really cool experience for a lot of these guys, especially, you know, like you mentioned, some of the guys that were just drafted. Uh, they're on the big league field playing against big leaguers, um, interacting with big leaguers. It's a very cool experience for a lot of these guys to, to go through this. Um, but it's, it's really cool to see these young guys, man. They're, they're super talented. They're a lot of fun to watch. You know, they're very fast. Uh, they're, uh, they're very explosive out there. So it's fun to see, you know, the, uh, the next generation coming up. I think it's, you know what, I, I think it's kind of cool to see some teams, you know, adjusting to it, putting whatever they want to the stands. I think it's just a cool way to kind of, uh, you know, get some fans involved a little more. You know, you have to adjust to these types of times. And, uh, you know, whether it's playing the crowd, the crowd noise or music or, you know, the stuffed animals, the cardboard cutouts, whatever it is. I think it's a cool idea. I like seeing the, uh, the teams adjusting and, and finding new ways to uh, get people involved and, uh, you know, making our game fun uh, in this situation. Uh, he's been great so far. You know, we, uh, we stayed in uh, constant communication, you know, whether it be every week, every other week uh, during the two months that I was at home. Uh, he's been great, you know, uh, keeping guys involved and, and, letting, and letting people know what's going on. And since we've been here, he's, uh, he's, he's kept us in line with our social distancing as well. You know, he, he's taken it upon himself to, to really follow the rules and, and really get uh, the most out of what's going on this year. So it's exciting to see. He's been great so far. Uh, I think everybody here is, uh, has enjoyed uh, playing for him so far. So it's, uh, it's been, a good, uh, been a good three months so far for him. Uh, I think the biggest thing from a gameplay perspective is, is definitely going to be the use of the bullpens. I feel like uh, you know, it's going to be postseason pitching from uh, opening day on. Um, I think guys are going to go to their bullpens, especially uh, with a 30-man roster to start. Um, you know, each game's important. You know, opening day is, is really a must win. You, know, you, you, you fall out of first place right away in a 60-game sprint. So uh, I think the pitching is, is going to be huge this year. Our bullpen uh, you know, was, uh, you know, our bullpen was constructed for a, a situation like this, which is nice. Uh, we got a great bullpen, uh, and I feel that we will use that. I feel like uh, a lot of teams will go to their bullpens at times and use that postseason pitching um, very often uh, because of the sprint to uh, the 60-game season. The inter squads have actually been a lot of fun. Um, you know, there's some friendly competition out there. There's some uh, some nice trash talk going on, which is a lot of fun at times. Uh, you know, we don't really really get to uh, face each other often, other than live BPs. And uh, you know, now we're in a situation that it is game like, and uh, you know, you're facing guys that you've known for a long time, your friends. So it, uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, you know, we're getting the most out of it uh, each and every day. We're getting our work in um, early on, uh, following protocols. You know, we have our uh, we have our testing every other day, which has been going well. Um, but uh, other than that, the inner squads have been a lot of fun. We're getting a lot out of them, um, you know, and uh, we're, we're facing a lot of good pitchers on our side. You know, we face our bullpen. I faced Kirby and, and Pagan yesterday. They were, you know, those are two tough at bats. And, uh, you know, you won't face too many tougher at bats than that. So it's good to kind of see guys like that here and uh, going into the season facing guys that, you know, we have guys that are as good, if not better than.